Well, I, I've heard you say on, on the shows that there are podcasts and you know other people's platforms that you wouldn't go on and that there are people, Noam Chomsky comes to mind, but you would not debate them in any forum. Yeah. Then on the other side, there are people, presumably like Joe Rogan, um, Sam Harris, Weinstein, who implicitly or not have a no objectivist policy. So I'm wondering where and how does one draw the lines between you and the people and ideas people and the ideas that you will not and maybe should not engage and is it any different when you're inviting them into your own house onto this show as opposed to going to theirs or a neutral third-party platform yeah i mean I, I, it's a great question and it's not an easy one to answer so it's it's one that requires judgment and you know there's some principles but but very much on a case-by-case -case basis and different intellectuals are gonna are gonna come to somewhat different conclusions it's one of these things where i think we can disagree on. Um, I think the principle is you do not want to sanction, sanction evil. You do not want to give the impression that evil is okay somehow, that evil is legitimate, that a certain points of view have currency, uh, are worth debating. And it's particularly tricky when... Um, where you don't so th so that's one thing you don't want to do the other thing you don't want to do is you don't want to make people think that this other person's your view is the same in some significant way than the other person's view if you think in a even if you argue against them because of some confusion and this is the, the issue of libertarians it's very tricky to engage with libertarians in debates discussions panels, things like that, because it's so easy for people to think you're one of them. And if you want to differentiate yourself from them, then you have to really make an effort when you're on the stage with them to make clear the differences between you, right? Nobody's going to confuse me with a liberal, with a leftist. They, they, they might confuse me with some types of conservatives. They might, you know, particularly when the media pushes that Donald Trump is an Ayn Rand character, they might confuse me with Donald Trump. That's why I spent a lot of time separating. They're probably not going to confuse me with a religious conservative. So, um, so one is you don't want to sanction evil. Second, you don't want to be, you don't want to sanction an idea that you don't agree with. So you have to be cautious to separate yourself, even if you get on stage with some people. So take, uh, so let's start with evil. Um, Noam Chomsky, you know, people who sanction the worst forms of totalitarianism, I will not get on stage with. I won't get on stage on anybody who's a self-professed Nazi. I won't get on stage with a self-professed white supremacist. I won't get on stage or, or who I think is, is you know, a, a, a Nazi or self-professed white supremacist. I won't get on stage with a communist or an apologist for communism or in which is Noam Chomsky, you know, a, a, a somebody who is um, who who was an apologist for Pol Pot, the, the Cambodian, uh, the Cambodian, um, you know, a genocidal maniac. Um, but then there are borderline cases, right? There's these cases where I debate socialists, and you could argue the socialists are sanctioning communism, although they pretend not to, and they want de democratic socialism, and they all pro democracy, and they all pro free speech and everything. But it's tricky. And, and, and it's not, you know, I'm wary and, and uh, of debating s socialists, I try to only debate socialists when they're young, not too young, but young, so that um, so that they are, you could still say there's some chance that they're mistaken and not pure evil. Like, Noam Chomsky is just evil, right? So that's one. I, I don't debate. Uh, so, that's, so that's one category. The libertarian category primarily relates to anarchists. I typically don't debate anarchists, although, again, I've done so at least once. Because, A, I don't want to give anybody the impression that we agree on stuff. But, you know, this politics stuff, we just dis disagree on that. no. We disagree on everything. We disagree on metaphysics, epistemology, ethics, and, and politics. And it just, it, it, and, and people confuse, oh, they agree on everything. It's just that 
there's some disagreement about what the actual form of rights protecting government has to be. And they one believes there should be no government, one believes there should. No, the whole philosophical foundation is different. And if I think I can get to that, and if I can think I can make that clear, then the debate might be worthwhile. If I can't, then it's not. It's much more dangerous and it's much more polluting for uh, anarchists, to, for people to think objectivism is somehow aligned with anarchism. I consider anarchism as, as a, a really, really bad set of ideas. I also think it's, it's not really that serious. I think it discredits the liberty movement and I, so I'm reluctant to, uh, to participate uh, in a debate with them. And then, as you said, it, it, it makes a difference. I wouldn't invite any of those people on my show. I wouldn't invite a socialist on my show. I prefer, if I'm going to do a debate like that, to do it in neutral ground. And I might, depending on the, on the person, I might go on their show. But I would not do it on my show. Um, and again, all of that is nuanced and it depends on the person and so on. But the key is not to sanction evil. And then the application, I'll just say, is hard. And we at the Institute, the Einstein Institute, we would spend, we'd spend a lot of time figuring out who do we debate? Who are we willing to talk to? Uh, what conferences do we go to? What panels do we participate in? What organizations do we work with? What do we don't? It, it's not easy. It's not easy to make those calls. So that's, that's the thinking. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think. Meaning, any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brutes. All right, before we go on, reminder, please like the show. We, we've got 163 live listeners right now, uh, 30 likes. That should be at least 100. I figure at least 100 of you actually like the show. Maybe there are like 60 of the Matthews out there who hate it. But, but at least the people who are liking it, you know, I want to see I want to see a thumbs up. There you go. Start liking it. I want to see that go to 100. All it takes is a click of a, a, click of a, a thing, whether you're looking at this. Uh, and, and, you know, the likes matter. It, it's not an issue of my ego. It's an issue of the algorithm. The more you like something, the more the algorithm likes it. So, you know, and if you don't like the show, give it a thumbs down. Let's see your actual views being reflected in the likes. But uh, if you like it, don't just sit there. Help get the show promoted. Of course, you should also share. And uh, you can support the show at yourrunbrookshow.com slash support or on Patreon or Subscribestar or Locals uh, and, uh, and show your support for, all, for, for, for the work, for the value hopefully you're receiving from this. And, uh, and of course, don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, even if, you, even if you just come here to troll or even if you're here like Matthew to defend Marx, uh, then uh, you should subscribe because that way you'll know when to show up. You'll know what shows are on, when they're on. You'll get notified, right? So, um, yes, like, share, subscribe, support. Like, share, subscribe, support. There you go. Easy. Do one or all of those, please. <laughs>